The XP domain has been rewritten from the ground up and is now XP Fluid Flip. It is faster, more physically accurate, with an all new sophisticated collision system. With a choice of both APIC and FLIP fluid solvers, there's more artistic control than ever before. In this scene we have an XP fluid flip set up with this collision object, more on collisions in a bit. It splashes down into our water surface and creates this very nice splash and rippling effect. So let's just have a look at some of our new XP fluid flip features. You now have the choice of which fluid solver to use. You can use the old flip solver or the new APIC. APIC is better at maintaining angular momentum and has less of the dispersive qualities of flip. This this means that it helps maintain and keep the natural flow that your water should have. It can also provide a more energetic yet very stable simulation. So let's do a side by side comparison using this scene of APIC versus FLIP. On the left we have an X particle scene which has been calculated using the FLIP solver and on the right the same scene using the APIC solver. So let's start the sim and compare. And we'll pause there, look at the difference in detail in Splash on the right. And pause again, much more detail to the sim. And as the scene develops, you can see the benefits of using APIC with its ability to maintain that angular momentum. XP Fluid Flip has a brand new collisions system, which of course handles static collider objects, but also fast moving and even rotating collider objects. So let's play this scene in real time. We have an XP Fluid Flip and we have a platonic collider, which is animated. Let's have it rise from this water surface. So we'll activate our XP emitter, hit play, and you'll see as the platonic makes its way through that water body, it interacts, collides with those particles, it creates this really nice backsplash and then this very nice rippling effect. We could go one step further. If we go into the XP Fluid Flip domain options, we now have a sticky objects option. Let's check this. And now we're going to get those water particles initially sticking to the outer surface of that collider object. When the collision takes place, they'll be dragged along with it and then they will gradually roll off as gravity takes hold. A fantastic new feature, especially when animated objects rising from water surfaces. In this cached XP fluid flip scene we're using the APIC solver and we have these various different collision objects, static rocks, a dynamic cube and this fast rotating turbine. Let's see how XP fluid flip handles these collision types. We'll activate our cached water body emitters, hit play and here we come. So first of all the dynamic cube splashes into that water creating this very nice detail and this fluid motion throughout our volume. It interacts with our static rocks and then we get our plunging of our turbine which rotates under that water to create this nice vortex movement and splash detail on the surface. Of course, XP Fluid Flip works with other X particles dynamic objects as well. So let's introduce an XP foam object and emitter here. This is in the default settings and this will bring some really nice detail to this water. So here comes the splash. Then we have the detailing of the foam and spray particles on the surface and they interact of course with our collision objects as well. And then here comes the nicest part of the sim, the plunging of our turbine which will go under the water and then as it starts to create that vortex movement and the splash detail of those individual blades that will be accentuated by our foam and spray particles. This scene took just under 12 minutes to cache all 500 frames. XP Fluid Flip is also faster than the old XP Domain. Let's do a speed test. On the left is the same scene in XP Domain. On the right, the scene in XP Fluid Flip. 
set to the flip solver with as like for like settings as is possible. Let's do a frames per second speed test. This is being played back at times four speed. Now straight away, look at the speed of calculation of XP fluid flip, but also those amazing collisions creating that really nice flowing water. And there we are, we've come to an end. 42 seconds total time, just over seven frames per second. And XP domain is still calculating. The collisions aren't as good. We're coming to the end and now we're finished. 94 seconds total time. That is just over three frames per second. So in this sim, the new XP Fluid Flip is over twice as fast. With a choice of fluid solvers, a brand new sophisticated collision system, and artist-friendly settings for fine-tuning simulations. This is the brand new XP Fluid Flip in X-Particles.